bucks and This motherfucker's still asleep for sure, bro. Anyways, good morning. It's officially the day we leave. It's two days before the show. Some I knew it, bro. I called my mic straight up broken, dude. I was like, I'm easy to Use it like a microphone, bro. It's fucking broken. Oof. Most goaded coach out there. This is everything for the day. Easy right here. Mm. We just ate meal one, and now it's time to get on the road. You know when we pull up with the camp, this dude's ultra focused, bro. We You'd think we packed for like a week. Nah. It's not light. enough light pack. Well, Goddamn, up we seen. fucking made it. So after far, far, far too much controversy, we made it inside the hotel. So we are gonna go cancel the other room because they hella overcharged us for being underage, which I have no idea what that has to do with anything. But um, yeah, we're gonna go to Walmart after we cancel this room and then I'll catch you guys back here. We're gonna come back here and just post up. This, oh, meal three. I had oatmeal about halfway through the drive. My job is just kind of just chill and relax. Right. Shout out Tommy for making the food. I've been chefing good. up this whole trip, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna keep doing it, bro. I kind of like cooking, it's fun. Well, you're right, in case you wanna fall. Oh, I saved it. Good yeah. shit. Yeah, I'm gonna chill, try and remain positive. Upbeat, get in my zone with some headphones and then uh, film the lift. I'm just, uh, I'm taking a minute to reflect on just how crazy it is that I'm like here right now. I'm with my boys in another state doing a, my first bodybuilding competition and uh, I'm beyond excited. There's nobody that I'd rather be doing it with either. So fucking good. Yeah. So good, bro. Like, this is better than sex. Like, I, I can't even, I, I don't know what to do. But truly, thank you to you guys for supporting the journey and uh, helping me uh, stay in check. Reminding me it's that I'm just a person and uh, you guys are coming with me on every adventure I have. But I love you, gang. And I'll see you at the gym. Need me some drink, bro. Tarjay. So does Katie here? Chick was bad. <laughs> Yo. Oh my God. Wow. I'm getting hungry. Well, I mean, once I'm on that, I'm not thinking it. Ooh. That's hot as fuck, dude. Thank you. I guess I'm gonna chug it. Chug it. The natty, natty juice. Oh my God, that's so good, but it's hot. She was pretty fucking sick. Uh, we're gonna do this. This is all the all the work, all those hours, all those meals skipped, all the times we had to say no to food. It all conjugates into one moment, and that's that's being on stage. And this is the last, you know, tough workout we're gonna have. I mean, even though it's just getting a pump today, and it's like we're not going that hard. It's the last one, so I feel like it's kind of something special. So, thank you to you, bro. Fuck, brothers, bro. It's nice to be able to look back and see kind of how how much like progress not only physically but also like mentally and emotionally both of us have made during this prep it's just Be like weird it's experience. a lot to take in yeah so it's a surreal experience it almost feels like it's one of those moments you're gonna like remember forever but you're also in the moment you're like living one of those moments but you know beforehand yeah, which is so weird but yeah we're both tired of shit we're gonna get this lift in and uh last i hope you guys enjoy maybe. last the last lift last yes lift. sir Bro, it feels like ass, bro. I'm so tired. Oh, I can't wait for this chicken and rice, but I'm trying to soak in the moment, baby. We're here at a sick ass gym in another state, bro. Before we hop up on stage and take some fucking souls.
too, like it hurts to work out. I know, dude, it's painful, it doesn't feel right. We just go back to the hotel. Both of us are absolutely fucking dead. But we have carbs and protein to eat. So we're gonna go, you know, we also got locked out of our hotel room. So we're gonna go get some new keys. Probably just eat and sleep. I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow when we're uh, taking Tommy to go get his show tan and we're checking in. I have been doing so bad about vlogging because I've tried to be Staying in the moment and being present, but I'm on my way to get my first coat of tan right now. And honestly, I'm pretty excited to see what the difference will be in my physique. So yeah, let's get fucking to it. This boy already has his first coat on. Already looking a whole- Look at this shit, bro. I edited all this shit on the car right here. That was the most advanced. Go sub to my fucking YouTube, bro. I've been putting too much effort in. Shit's crazy. But yeah, we are on the way to go fucking get tan. <laughs> So, y'all kind of know how I normally structure my diet. Um, normally it's just intuitive eating. Not with me, it isn't. Getting so close to show, like every, like literal milligram and, and gram of every food and whatever salt ounce of water you drink is tracked. So, I've been eating like, I mean everything you see here, just like oatmeal, protein powder, cream of, uh, cream of wheat, bananas, a lot of sugar-free stuff, and then even like low-sodium peanut butter. But post-show, I'll be able to like actually eat the food that I like. I got the seven-layer bar. Follow me. I got the seven-layer bar right here. Mm. But And these backstage with some of that. Gotta have two rice cakes, but we're on our way to get tan, so I don't wanna be fucking late. Bro. Oh, oh fuck. This heat is dude, fucked my up. Elbow just touched the seatbelt. <laughs> no. God damn it. Shit, dude. Ah. Uh. Oh fuck. Oh shit. That seatbelt. We're gonna be late, is bro. Dang. Oh fuck. This shit is a thousand degrees, bro. So we're on our way to the host hotel for the event. How they normally structure these events is that they'll pick like a theater or something. Uh, right next to a hotel that's next to an airport. So all the competitors that are flying in can book rooms at the host hotel. We book um, on purpose, not at the host hotel. So like we don't have to see the other people like walking in and shit all the time or like it really interact with anybody besides the people that we come with. We have a big group coming today though, or uh, coming th like to this show to support, which is really cool. We have a lot of people from back home. We have a lot of people from um, here in Arizona and a couple people like Baj and Noah Mason are flying in from Texas. And I think it's just cool that, um, to see how many people want to see me and Tommy succeed. Um, we built a lot of success over the last year. Big year. Especially with Greek God's gear and how much you guys have shown love on that. Um, I've been able to be a 20 year old uh, business owner that I'm I'm doing the life I want to do and living the life I want to live I'm I'm just so unbelievably blessed and grateful for you guys yeah I'm starting to like really feel the show euphoria now um, getting to the show and just realizing like all the work is done we've done everything that we possibly could to prepare so instead of stressing over the little details I'm just gonna enjoy the last couple days I haven't been posting on Instagram or TikTok almost at all because I'm just trying to really lock in and live in the moment and enjoy this time that I have with Tommy and uh, the other boys, B-Rod, Larry, and Taylor. So, yeah, I just want to say thank you guys. I don't, I don't feel like I talk to you guys enough about how grateful I am that I'm able to connect with you guys almost on a weekly basis with these videos. We did a lot. Yeah. It feels now that I'm on the other side of prep. I don't know. It's a. Uh, it's a surreal feeling knowing that all this work actually did pay off and that there is an end and tomorrow is that end. Tom like less than 24 hours from now, I'll have 
a Food. bite of a bite of a Big Mac for the first time. I'm nine proud months. as fuck of this, dude. Like, I've competed a few times already, and I've tried getting friends to compete with me before in the past. And when I met Tommy, he was like, "Oh, I need a coach. I don't really like. I'm not eating right." You were like, you had just gotten sick, right, when we started? Basically, I was trying to bulk, and I knew what my calories needed to be, and I was just trying to do it uh, with those calories, um, intuitive eating, which I hadn't really figured out like to a science yet. And then I hit Tommy up uh, when I came back from school this one this one week, and I was like, dude, like, I know that you do diet stuff like down to a T, and I know that you've been helping me with my calories, but like, I need more help because I don't know what I'm doing. And I was like, bro, you want to just be my client? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, bro, I'll be your fucking coach. And oh, now look at him. Is, uh... And now look at him. Look at this stud. Look at this fucking Terminator stud. Look at that stud, dude. I'm telling you, I. I had a good amount of belief in him, but you always know, like, especially with, I've had hundreds of clients, there's always that doubt where it's like, oh, they're, they're not going to be as serious as you. They're, you're the cheat code of the game, but you can't play the game for him. So I'm just like, oh, okay, like, see him on the bulk, he's still fucking up a little bit. I'm like, all right, dude, I hope he could really lock him for this show. He moves back, locked. 100%. Locked. He's locked in like that. And now we got fucking... Veins out the fucking ass on both the arms, dude. Look at that shit. Look at them. Mom's so depleted, bro. Fuck. I know. We're going to give this man some more carbs. Um, I'm going to have him looking nice and full and sexy but for I'm, this show. I'm going to do a physique check before the tan and then directly after the tan so you guys can see the difference. On him, it makes a huge difference. It's like 10, 15 pounds of muscle. So this is my, this oh, yeah. is my first spray tan ever. So... I'm honestly excited to see what it's gonna do to my physique. You look crazy, bro. Yeah, we'll, I'm, we'll see. I'm excited. We fucking did it, bro. Fuck, this this peak week was so much harder than the one three weeks ago, but I'm so fucking glad I had this dude to push me through. Week. Yeah, this that is his first one. Dick. It's my fifth. I was doing this shit at 18. Fuck fucking man. at work, working full-time shifts and going to school and I was dying. But fuck it, dude, you just gotta do what you gotta do. I told him this saying you guys saw in the video. What is the saying Tommy? Ain't nothing to do but to do it. Ain't man. nothing to do but to do it man. So that's what we about to do. We about to do it. Boy sweating. Look at this shit. We're here. This is before the show tan bro. Before the show tan. See that. Pull it a little bit. Yeah dude. That's fucking. See this guy? <laughs> Look at how lean he is. That shit is crazy. Nice work. Exactly. Nice work Tommy. Good shit. Later classic. Let's get tanned. Alright, y'all saw the before the uh -oh, tan. Dude, not in the good down lighting. Yo. Yo, dude. This is post tan. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> With my fucking glasses on. Y'all you ready for it? Ooh. Ugh. Oh my god, he's All natural. Right. Verdict dropped. I'm natty. No, I'm no way, dude. <laughs> To all the people that say that I'm not natural. No, I'm playing. But for real. After this video, there should be absolutely zero controversy whether I'm natural or not. Because I just literally took a lie detector test. A lie detector a lie detector test. Felt like I was in like a CIA hey, interrogation man, movie, See, bro. He's gonna have to take a piss test too, because he's gonna win. Uh, yeah, Baj and Noah Mason are on their way to the hotel right now, so. Got everything done. So we're here for the rest of the day now. Yep. Fucking traffic. We're all was, done. Traffic was pissing me off, but we just got back to the hotel room. About to eat, get some calories in the system, and then I will be just chilling for most of the day. I don't have anything else to complete. We don't have any more lifts to do. We have no more nothing. I mean, there's literally nothing to do. Done. We did done. we did everything. This prep, the prep prep is over. We have one more day of eating. Prep's done. We have one more day of eating, dude. And then prep's done. Listen. Holy shit, prep's done, prep's dude. Prep's fucking done, bro. Give me a fucking oh, hug. It's done, dude. It's done. It's literally just going on stage and fucking posing and looking sick. Let's go, bitch. Yes. Prep's finally over. Well, look who came to visit. <sighs> Time traveling once again. How we doing? Yeah. Time traveling. Tommy just made the last meal, so I'm gonna fucking eat. Tommy pretty much summed it up as best as possible in his YouTube video. Go watch that video, motherfucker. Um, <laughs> I just wanna say thank you to you guys for supporting along the journey uh, that is prep, that has been prep. For the last 15 months of my life, I've had one goal, 
and that is to bring the best absolute package possible on stage, which is going to be tomorrow morning. And I'm blessed to say that I have my family and my boys here to uh, so. to help support, to watch me grow, uh, to fall back on on the days that I can't do it on my own. And uh, above all, I think that we push each other to follow God and push each other to uh, be the best, to be great. You guys always hear me say, be great, because that's a, that's a decision of waking up every morning and choosing to say no to the motherfucker in your ear that's saying that you're terrible, you're the worst. You know, that negative self-talk. Uh, actively changing that mentality and being around like-minded people, especially people that you know do the same exact thing that you do. And uh, growing together, I've had the pleasure of seeing Baj go from zero to hero, as well as you and me. We've all kind of just been able to grow together in the last year, and prep has been crazy. Uh, if you have a goal, get out there and fucking do it. There is nothing to do but to do it, right? That's what we say. That's what I've been saying since day one, bro. That one day in the car. Ain't nothing to do but to do it. So make sure that, do it. you know, you find your people. It makes all the difference in the world. 15 months ago, I met, or I brought Connor and Larry to meet Tommy and B-Rod. Oh yeah, bro, started. that was crazy, bro. 15 bro. months ago, Connor hit 315 on bench. Me and Tommy both failed 375. 275. 275. No, but um, it's just crazy to see like how life goes. Um, you never really know where God's gonna lead you and, and the types of relationships that you're gonna be able to build. So guard your heart and uh, keep your eyes open because the road ahead is not what you expect it to be. But if you stay persistent and keep God first, I swear, I swear that you will be end up where you want to be. 100%. But with that being said, we have a shot to drink, baby. Yo, but God, I'm sorry, but it's, it's shot time. It's fucking show day. Dude, I'm so fucking tired. Holy shit. <laughs> so early. It's 4.40 a.m. 4.20 a.m. We have to be there by 4.40, which means we have to leave, like, right now. So, we're going to go get tan to tan, mm, coat number two on right now. And then uh, come back here and get some meals in before we show back up for the show. Uh, as y'all can see, second coat is on. We are. Jesus. Let me flick you up. Bro. Let me see. Get over here. Get over here. This guy's looking like a, oh, my. Uh, turn a little bit more. Other way. Yo, that's fucked. It's flex. Get all that air out. Oh my. That's what I call dick skin fucking shredded. But we are on the way to Target because for some reason we didn't calculate for enough oatmeal. So we're going to go get some oatmeal and then head to the show. Fucking it's time to get her done, baby. Damn, we both look dead as fuck. Let's I know, go. dude. Fuck. Just got to get...
Look at that, dude. I know. Look at that. That's fucking hard ass work. It's all fucked up, bro. Dude, hey, bro. I don't really sweat, but I competed. That shit was hard as fuck. I competed in both classic physique, I mean, classic novice mm -hmm. and open. And uh, I mean, as you guys can see, I sweat my absolute ass off out there. So. Pre-judging is over. Pre-judging is done, baby. The show is done. It's done. Like we we can we, go. We did all that prep for for this moment. Oh, to do is walk out there for the individual routines and just have fun and at have this point. Have some fucking fun. I can't Enjoy wait to shower. Enjoy looking sick as shit, dude. Fuck. I can't wait to shower. I can't wait to eat. I can't wait to drink some fucking water. My adrenaline is still pumping so hard from being on stage. Like my heart's still going like 130. Those lights, dude, are bright. I couldn't oh, see fucking anything. You can't see shit, and that gives me adrenaline, bro. I was I was uh, able to see everybody for the first time going out there. I was, the second I time see going them. out there, I was already gassed. I was just I was trying to smile so hard, but I was trying not to make it look like I was exhausted when I was on stage. I'll roll a clip for you guys. You can see my fucking face, bro. I was like. Dude, if you guys see the clips, this motherfucker was Baj, smiling. Yeah, I was smiling. Baj kept yelling shit, so I was like instigating a little bit. He'd be like, "Watch for it." I started doing that. Like, you guys saw my video where like I showed you what my posing routine was gonna be like and how I was practicing. I was holding him for a minute so that that wouldn't happen. But classic poses are way harder because you have to engage your legs. They're way more physically demanding because most demanding. of them are vacuums too. Yes. Instead dude. of just forcing all the air out of your body, you're forcing all the air out of your body and then Sucking using in. extra energy to suck your stomach lining up against your intestines. So yeah. Honestly, bro, I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. Not necessarily happy with the way I perform, but definitely satisfied. I slipped the pose for a good, saw that. For a good show. I slipped. Or for a first show, yeah. this was pretty good. It was a good debut. And from here, we do individual routines. And then we do awards. And then McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's all I'm thinking of. Water, but mainly McDonald's. Half a gallon of water, dude. All right, baby. Let's uh, get back to you guys when we're at In and Out. Fucking out here. Yeah. Yeah. Coming back, you know, with the with the mid game analysis, the halftime analysis, you know, going into finals. I'm gonna make a bold prediction. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I wanna make a bold prediction. Pretty bold. I got Tommy Brown taking first. 100%. Men's physique. Yeah. T Spa also taking first. Classic. The yeah, other. Honestly, it's fucking we'll have to see what happens. But I, 214, it's we're calling it right now. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. It's behind, it's behind the scenes. Thing. Double T's are going to do their thing. Number one, baby. Let's go. Number one. This is number nine, Thomas Spalding. Everyone can 
is in fifth place. We have number eight, Rich Sloan. And in fourth place, number seven, Eric Liu. Third place, number five, Rowan Barney. Second place, number 10, Eric Dupree. And in first place, number nine, Thomas OCB Slayer Classic Pro Card winner. Men's Classic Physique. Yes, Officially a Natty Pro. <laughs> Tommy! 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 Tommy. Uh, I'm so proud of you, man. Uh, you to hold something for him? Oh, I love you. What the hell? What am I doing to create that? I'm not sure. <laughs> All that fucking hard work. It's this one right here. Okay. I'm not trying not to do that. I'm not shit, bro. Every single fucking time. I'm not trying to tell you, bro. You're right there. You're right fucking there. There it is. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the swords. <laughs> Oh, shit, hey, hold the swords up, hold the swords up. Okay, okay that was an experience hey. to have. We will give you guys the rundown when we get back to the hotel room. Me and Tommy need to get these fucking tans off because they're atrocious. But need to get this shit off. We're gonna go sit down with gold medals on at McDonald's and uh, enjoy some fat ass food because the two of us have been starving ourselves for nine months. So let's fucking eat. I could not be more proud of this man for being able to be Same the person that kept my head level throughout all of prep. There were a lot of times, because this is my first prep, where I was losing it. I was talking shit. I felt like crying. I felt a lot like giving up. And he was always the one that was like, bro, it's We don't fucking like, give up, bro. It's only it's a little bit further to go. Mind. This it's second place, more. bro, last time I lost over a technicality, second place, my pro card, just because I fucked up the posing. We're just gonna take another prep. We're gonna do another bulk, another cut, and just see what happens. Fucking Fucking huge. huge. Fries. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Holy shit. It's my mom's home cooked treat, and it reminds me of being a kid. And I haven't had this sweet specifically in over a year, so. Yeah. How is that shit? Yeah, bro. Fucking amazing, bro. I feel like fucking good right now. Yeah, bro. Good. Yeah, bro. Thank you. Hey, I'm talking to you guys on live right now. I just uploaded the live on the show placing, but we are later than we thought we were gonna be. We're headed back to the hotel right now. I have to fucking shower because I feel like so fucking dirty, bro. Just post show euphoria, dude, to the to the fucking maximum. I feel so good, dude. The show is fucking over. Prep is it's fucking done, over. So we are on the way to get it's the done. first part McDonald's. of the cheat meal at McDonald's. McDonald's, motherfucker. But I haven't eaten out in like two or three months. Fuck. Time to go ballistic, bro. I'm well, so insane. We're going ballistic nuts. at Golden Corral. I'm gonna get like a McChicken and that smoothie that I've been craving for forever. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna get that vanilla yeah. shake, that big, just, we'll see you at McDonald's. Yeah, we'll see you at McDonald's. We made it. All right, McDonald's. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, is it good? Look at how fucking, oh my God, dude. Once you get Diet Dr. Pepper, yeah. whoa, Diet Dr. Pepper. holy English, <laughs> Diet Dr. Pepper. I guess this is kind of the first, like, I mean, not most episodes will be filmed in the car, but the TNT meals. Welcome to TNT meals. Yeah, first episode of TNT meals, pretty much. All right. 
Got it, baby. Cheers. Mm. All the boys pulled up. Final part of the cheat meal. We're going to fucking Golden Corral. Time to eat. It is the next day. <clears throat> Woke up this morning, an OCB natural bodybuilding pro. Yes, sir. Oh, but yeah. we got the whole room all cleaned up, ready to go. Yeah, we're gonna get on the road. I'll catch you guys back in Moore Park because we're just gonna straight shoot it. But it's been an excellent trip. Eight hours later, we made it. We're at Tommy's right now. Me eat some Costco pastries. Oh, dude, I'm so stoked for those. Holy shit. And then we're going to Little Caesars for dinner. Probably oh, yeah. gonna watch a movie too. What's up, gang? I just got home last night from my show. I had that cheat meal with Tommy, and you guys will be able to see the first episode of TNT Meals here pretty soon. Um, all of us were kind of brain dead during that, and <laughs> it was kind of funny because we were all exhausted and just didn't have any thoughts besides let's just eat. So I hope that you guys do enjoy that view that video when it comes out. Um, overall, I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for following. Thank you for believing in me. Um, it was, I truly believe that you guys helped me achieve who I am now. You guys helped me achieve my natural pro card. You guys helped me achieve everything. So I wouldn't be here without you. And I want to just say that what started as me deciding to post on social media for fun led me to find my love for bodybuilding and find my love for competing. Um, I think that I would have found it outside of social media if I never was on it, but it would have taken me a lot longer. And um, having a community to support me while I'm going through that with prep and um, winning the show with you guys was just amazing. So from the bottom of my heart, I love you guys. And thank you so much for believing in me when I couldn't believe in myself. We made it worth it. And uh, yeah, I can't believe that the prep vlog series gets to end with me having a natural pro card. Just so wild for me to think about. But yeah, now that I'm home and the show's over, we still have a lot of work to do. There's always more work to put in, right? So I'm gonna try and get the dropout for Greek God's Gear here pretty quick and get things expedited moving quickly and other than that i gotta figure out what my next journey is what is t-spall moving on to next so with that being said i love you gang have a great day night or evening wherever you're at i hope that you're staying blessed and again thank you i love you <laughs>